वेलकम बैक गाइस नाउ वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट बेसिक फ्री सेल जॉब यूजिंग जेनकिंस सो नाउ लेट्स गो हेड एंड देन लर्न व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट वेज यू कैन ट्रिगर योर जेनकिंस बिल जॉब सो इफ आई कैन टेक यू टू द डायग्राम दैट आई वाज रेफरिंग इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो इफ यू लुक एट दिस डायग्राम देयर आर फोर डिफरेंट वेज यू कैन ट्रिगर योर जेनकिंस जॉब so the first one is polyacm so if you look at polyacm jenkins would check with github if there is any code change if there is any code change then jenkins will go ahead and then you know download the source code and then it will start implementing right so this is like a pull mechanism option number 1 which we just implemented using polyacm is a pull mechanism okay there is also something called webhooks so if you see here so webhooks are nothing but you can also trigger the jenkins build job instantly for example let's say you are working with a team as a devops engineer and there is a requirement that as soon as code is committed by a development team in the version control system you have to trigger the jenkins build job instantly right so they are telling you we don't want to wait for 30 minutes or 1 hour or 2 hours we want to trigger the jenkins build job instantly so that we would know if there are any issues you know with the code in that case you should go for something called webhooks okay so that's exactly what i'm going to show you in this lecture so if i can take you back to jenkins so go back to jenkins the same job that we have implemented instead of polyacm if you wanted to trigger the jenkins build job instantly which is nothing but webhooks all you have to do is you know select this option okay so this will trigger the jenkins build job instantly and click on save so we are not done yet we also need to do one more thing if i can take you back to the reference diagram who is actually triggering the job you know when developer makes a code change that action is the one which is going to trigger the job right so this is a push mechanism So if you look at the arrow arrow is coming from GitHub into Jenkins right so let me go back to uh, GitHub go to settings you have to go to the respective repository go to settings click on webhooks and then click on add webhooks so webhooks are nothing but if you wanted to invoke any uh, external url uh, during some events inside your repository so you can configure in a way right so in our case let's say whenever there is a code change if you wanted to trigger a third party url such as jenkins then you can configure something called webhooks so click on add webhook and it is asking for the payload url so you'll have to provide your jenkins url isn't it copy the jenkins url and then you just have to say github github hyphen webhook that's all you have to do content type json that's fine you don't have to give secret or anything like that that's fine click on add web book let's go ahead and then make some code changes if you guys remember um i have already downloaded the code base right isn't it we already have a code locally on this jenkins ec2 instance i'm going to make sure i do have a latest code perfect now let's go ahead and then make some code changes uh i don't like to make code changes through uh you know github user interface that is a poor practice but i did show you in the previous lecture but please do not practice that that's not a good practice you should always make code changes from your local machine and then you need to you know uh, unit test it and then you check in the code and then you have to create a pr based on the branching and merging policy that you follow and then that's how you have to do your code changes okay all right so i'm going to just add some line over here i'm going to say we are implementing instantly that's exactly what we are trying to do as part of this particular lab perfect so let me just say git status you all know the drill isn't it git add git commit minus m when you say the box and then git push so now as soon as i commit my code changes if i can take you guys back to jenkins 
this immediately kickstarted my Jenkins job and you can also see my commit message as well there you go guys the job is already success so let's quickly check the output in Tomcat go ahead and then click on refresh wow so do you all see this right so yeah so this is how guys you know you can implement web books using github and jenkins and we are going to learn about option three uh, which is nothing but through a slack channel and then option four one jenkins job also can trigger another jenkins job as well so we will learn in our upcoming lectures i hope this lecture was really useful guys i'm really looking forward to meet you all in the next lecture thank you so much for watching